Ladies and gentlemen, we're back live. Mike Cernovich is here. Your phone call's coming up next segment. I'm going to get into Russia with him as well and what Trump's up to, what his information is on what's happening inside the Trump administration. But you were getting into the incredible persecution of conservatives, libertarians, of just nationalists, of just free speech activists. You're a lawyer in your own right. I know you've looked over some of the lawsuits against us, and I'm not just putting a good face on it. These will cost money. We've got to beat them. But my lawyers tell me, some of the top guys in the country, defamation-wise, they say... We've never seen suits like these. These are defamatory themselves, but it's defamation protected by court because it's in a lawsuit. And again, they even say, Jones says that, you know, they were connected to the FBI, uh, that Umar Mateen was. Well, that was in the news then, it's in the news now. So it's just next level, this intimidation and where they're going. And it makes me ask, what's the next step uh, just in the violent rhetoric? And where are the Republicans? Where is Trump? Uh, it, 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 it's just crazy. Well, I mean, the next step is for them, for us to be assassinated. I mean, there's no, there's no nice way to put it. We all know that the Family Research Council shooting happened in 2013. A man, Floyd Lee Corkins, went on to the SBLC target list website. He went in to murder as many people. This is what he said. He said, I want to kill as many people, he said. He said he wanted to kill as many people as possible and he said this to the FBI, and the only reason he was stopped was by a good guy with the gun. So the SPLC has actually directly, in ways that you and I never have, even though the fake news wants to say otherwise, directly inside in a mass shooter, media doesn't care. They don't talk about that. They don't report that. Instead, they'll dox four young Jewish women because they don't like the mom, Pamela Geller, so I, I, there's well, that's no the thing. The left's always been dirty and bad worldwide, and I, and I thought that maybe they were nicer here, but really it's just time in the phase for them to go into the red terror. Yeah, I, every day that I wake up is, for me, a relief that I haven't been, I haven't been murdered or targeted because we, we, I have been targeted for assassination, of course. There's no question. The Family Research Council happened. Yeah, I mean, if you... If somebody said they went on our website and they clicked on a target list and they went to commit a shooting, oh my God! Because they called be the it uh, they called it a targeting list for those that don't know. Yeah, yeah. So the SPLC literally has a target list, and then a man goes on a mass shooting. The SPLC has never apologized to the victims. They have not disavowed that shooting. They try to pretend it doesn't happen, and the media is complicit. There are maybe four or five articles tops on it, and they bury the lead about how that was a direct incitement by the Southern Poverty Law Center. And now the Southern Center. Poverty Law Center had 10,000 people hired by YouTube and Google to censor us. What do you make of that whole purge that's still ongoing? Well, my YouTube channel, I was gaining 1,500 new uh, subscribers a day. My videos were doing 20,000 views a day. And now I actually hardly even do much on YouTube because my videos are doing like 1,500 views, 2,000 views because the SPLC has unsubscribed people and gutted my YouTube channel. They've already taken Oh, that's over the thing. Our YouTube channel was at over 2 billion. It's now reversed to 1.5 and almost no one is getting our videos and they're all being unsubscribed. So they've got to go keep subscribing every day yeah i actually this was last week i have sixty six thousand subscribers even after the unsubscribes i had three live viewers alex when i went did a live stream no three. no i saw you I, link to that and show it that's impossible they're not yeah. even th that means three people had to be on your youtube page to see it that's called shadow banning that you that you were not able to hit any of the subscribers yeah, and it's interesting, and then I'll point that out, and then suddenly, like, the next day, then I'll get a couple hundred or something, and then, you know, because they think that we're going to forget about it and not pay attention, right? So three three live viewers on a 66,000 subscriber channel, it just doesn't really add up. So what they're doing is they're trying to play um, a PSYOP. Just hey, like hey, every we're banned from our main channel from streaming still, so at least you get your three. I and mean, that's what I'm saying. It's here, folks. It's here, and it's the so-called left, the champions of speech that are doing it. Yeah, I actually unpublished every YouTube video that I had ever done because what they done is they went back to someone's channel. He was actually um, Wayne Dupree, African-American, very powerful man, powerful voice. They found a video from four years ago. So they're going through every video and watching every video with a fine tooth comb. And if you say one wrong word or one foul language or 
you know, there's a word that begins with C. That was common during the election. They've decided now that if you say anything like that, even four years ago, they'll ban you or they'll, you know, they'll suspend it. So that that's where we are, Alex. That's why I tell so, so let me ask you this, because I'm asking a lot of questions. What's on your radar? What's next? How'd the big gun grab march go yesterday? I know you made the point. Where are the Republicans in the funding? I mean, this is the real fight. This is bigger than the election 2016. People better understand that. Yeah, the, it was a highly successful march. And the left has shown that they can mo mobilize and organize and bust people in uh, less than a month. So if the Democrats can get 800,000 people out into Washington, D.C. alone, and they can have coordinated marches all throughout the country, that shows that they can bust people in. There is going to be a major blue wave in November. There's no question about it. The Republicans don't want to win. Trump, Trump went on stage with Charlie Kirk and said, oh, Antifa... Is it really a big deal? You know, who, who, oh, that they just get too much attention, despite the fact that multiple Trump supporters have been assaulted and, and almost murdered. And in fact, that there's a pending criminal case in New York where an Antifa terrorist attempted to murder. He's charged with mob action and was trying to strangle a Trump. Oh, supporter. no, I saw, I saw tr uh, Trump uh, in that interview that he did. And uh, it was on Fox last Friday. And I'm not trying to attack Trump, but it's true. They'd go, you know, we, they really attack us on campus. And we're being shut down nationwide, our 20,000 campus groups. Trump goes, yeah, but you're still really popular. The left, nobody really agrees with them. And, and, and the guest host is like, no, they're attacking us and shutting us down. He's there telling the president we're under attack. We need federal funding to be pulled from these universities. These universities are out of control saying no whites on the weekend, no whites on the commons, and it's weird white teachers leading this classic racism crap. I, I mean, Trump... Tr have they compromised him? Because I got to be honest here. He's still doing a lot of great things, but man, I mean, he is starting to really slide. What in the hell is going on, Mike? Well, I'll tell you the truth that nobody really wants to hear, and it's cost me thousands of followers, and, and I'm fine with that. So I don't want anybody to blame you for what I'm about to say, but I'll just tell you the truth. If Alec Baldwin makes fun of Donald Trump on Saturday Night Live, Trump will tweet about it. If a Trump supporter in a Trump hat is knocked unconscious, Trump says it's no big deal. I just don't see him caring about the caring about the patriots who are on the front lines really making things happen. But does he know how much those people love him and how important they are? Because I know for a fact he does. I think he's in a bubble and doesn't know. Well, I'm only going to apologize for him for so much. I'm, I believe no, I hear you. Well, you know what? You know what? Because it's fair to do. Let's look at the negative of Trump when we come back and then go to phone calls. Because I, I, what I've been told is you got to get on his butt and us just blindly supporting him makes him go to sleep. So let's go after Trump when we come back.